Today we're printing monster number 11, The Beholder's Little Brother Billy, The Spectator. Welcome back to the channel. I am Tim. This is Heroes and Whiskey. We are printing our way through the D&D 5e monster manual. Today we are looking at the spectator, the kind of tiny, not tiny, but small beholder. And so let's head on over to my mini factory and see what we can find. If you need any kind of like background as to what it is that we're actually doing here, why we're making the decisions that we're making, there is a link to the intro video for this whole process down in the description. All right, let's head out to the internet. So if you are looking for spectators, you're going to find one of two things here on my mini factory. Uh, one are the little beholders that we're actually looking for. The other are actual spectators. So it is kind of a curious name, spectator. Um, but the reality is there aren't that many models out here that kind of fit my style. So let's take a little bit of a closer look. There's this one from Yasashi Kyojin. Uh, we printed their Bahir, and we almost printed their Death Tyrant. I really do like this one. I mean, it doesn't have kind of the floppy, not floppy, the dynamic tentacles that you usually see with these Beholder models, but I kind of like this uh, approach that's a little bit different where they're just kind of uh, sagging there. And so I, I very much like this look. The only other one that I could really find that was even close was this one from Fiend Slayer Games. It, it, it's a good model. It's maybe a little too uh, hero proportions, a little too uh, um, kind of comic book style for me, so it's not really my style. Still a good model. So let's print this one from Yasashi Kojin and see what we get. I want to give a shout out to our Patreon and Instagram channels where you can join in, take a look at the process, take a look, uh, participate in the conversation, uh, help us choose what models to print next. All right, this little guy, he uh, turned out great. Um, it's kind of like what we expected, some great details on the teeth and in the, the tentacles. The only thing that I'd say about this particular model is it's kind of borderline a size where you want to hollowed out, but it is very difficult to find a place to punch a hole and hollow it out. And I'm pretty sure I didn't do a very good job because, well, so it does come, it comes with this base that you obviously print separately and there's a tiny hole in the, the bottom of the, the model. And what started to happen is I thought I had it cured out and washed out inside but then some <laughs> some resin started to drip out of this hole where you put the stand and so if I did this again I would probably even though it is kind of thick I would probably print it out solid let's drop it on the turntable and take a closer look so I, I really I appreciate uh, having the base you can see the base looks a little slick and that's probably from some of the resin that's been dripping down but I, I like uh, when something is supposed to float I like it when the creator gives a base so you can see what I'm talking about uh, with the teeth with the wrinkles around the eye this is not a very a very big model and to have those details is really fantastic you can see kind of the little I don't know what are they teeth fangs sticking out of the sides of the mouth and so it, it it looks and feels both gross and terrifying, and so I really love it. Uh, put it up next to Johnny Trinity, um, and so the, the the eye is kind of right at the right height um, with the base on the ground. You can't kind of start to see some layer lines in there. As I've said before, I print with, um, with anti-aliasing uh, off to squeeze as much detail as I can, but it does result in some layer lines if you're doing really fine painting work. But this is, a, you know, a, a great size uh, for this model. Again, I love the base. It looks like it could be floating down the hall. And so overall, just a really nice piece of work by uh, Yasashi Kyojin. Uh, in terms of resources, we were able to print out this model with some others. And so the only really hit to us in terms of resources was the cost, and it was only three bucks. And so this model is a great deal for three bucks. It pushes our total spending so far up over a hundred bucks, but we're still sitting at two days and five hours. 
All right, so final thoughts. Uh, it's a great price. It's a great size. A great model. Well done, Yasashi Kyojin. Uh, I really love this little guy. Really a great addition. And next up, we'll be looking at Blights.